Yo guys, what is going on? Blouse is back. Welcome back to another episode of Top Drives. You know how it is, man. It's price card check time. Let's secure the bag. Well, not this bag. We don't we don't care about this bag. I mean, we get a ceramic pack out of it, which is pretty cool. Again, just a classic case of, you know, I finished lower than I should have because I didn't do enough races. Uh, it, it happens way too often, man. Usually, now that they give, like, the ceramic pack to the top 20, I, I, just, I just can't bother going for the top, like, 10, like this. All I want is a ceramic pack. That's it, you know? Uh, 29 flags. Okay, anyway, this is the one that matters. This should be the one that matters. There you go. Ford Superman 4 Finals. Score 500 plus, and that should be a tier 1 finish. Yes, 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 yes. That second McLaren 765 made all the difference. If I didn't get that second, that second McLaren 765, I might be 12, or I might even be in tier 3. That made all the difference. Because, I mean, seriously, you, you go from, like, mediocre you know, legend to one of the best that you can get is a two-time carbon fiber and a super van as well. Uh, bracket was very interesting. Um, honestly, the hands that were between eighth place and fourth place, stronger than the top two. Top two in my bracket, so freaking weak. I'll put, I'll put a photo of the first placer here because I didn't take a photo of the second hand, but I was genuinely surprised that Nobody went for the guy in first place. Maybe because he ticket spam and he had too many points and people were like, oh, I can't be bothered to bring him down. But dude, seriously, he, he was terrible. There, there were so many better hands of max legendaries that were below using things like the Elva and the Speed Tail, but they just didn't want to, I don't understand. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> in, in like the last 10 minutes, I realized, dude, the guy in first place was actually ridiculously weak. I'm going to go for him. Uh, and it paid off uh, because I ended first place because I was just farming that guy in the end. So Volvo XC90 V8, come on. And I think that's it. Okay, that's two very mediocre all three. Uh, but we take the four Super Van 4 though, so that's really cool. The, the two time carbon fiber was kind of meh though. 600 gold, 120 of those uh, Renault things, uh, purple points things, and 120 of the flags. That's pretty cool. Uh, daily event plus 45 as well. Um, but yeah, real quick after this, uh, after collecting this. Um, I'll go see if I can redeem enough hexagons for another carbon fiber and then we'll add it into this video. If not, I'll show you my hand then we move on to the next clip. I'm in a little bit of a rush while I'm recording this. I gotta go out really soon. Uh, so we got 60 gold, we got 45 renown, we got 19 flags. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go to my cards. Let's add the good stuff first. So legendary ultra rare one, two, and we'll lock the super van. Uh, next thing, we need to go to challenges, and we need to redeem, uh, if, if there's anything to redeem, uh, some stuff over here. So we got 245, mm, maybe, I'm not sure. Okay, so, yeah, this is the hand that I'm using. Well, actually, no, this isn't the hand I'm using, because I ended up using that Peugeot in the end, because I upgraded it. Um, where is it? Yeah, the Inception. So, this has one upgrade in, so it's 90 handling. Uh, this is max, duh. Uh, this is two star, so I went, what, I went one, two, three, as I usually do. Um, this is stock, and this is, this is one upgrade into it. So, in total, I spent one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five. So, I spent 12 epics and one legend. That was my hand. But, uh, yeah, I would say it was, it was, it was pretty good. Um, most people, I would say, at the top, didn't have the, uh, Eurus. But a lot of people at the bottom, like towards the, the bottom half of the, the of the tier two, not not the bottom, yeah, yeah, bottom half, your bottom half of tier two, like so, like you know, twelfth place uh, to like eighth place, or or maybe even eighth place all the way down. There were a couple guys in tier three in my bracket. They they had the Euros concept, but then again, they didn't have you know enough cars to back it up. I guess so. Uh, yeah, you live and you learn. I guess yeah, even with the Euros concept, I mean it, it could carry. Uh, but not in my bracket. At the end of the day, I'm pretty sure everyone in the top four in my bracket didn't have a Euros concept. We just had like um, Terzo Millennials and 765s and and I I was the only one. Only two people had the Lanzador. It was me and some guy that ended like ninth in my bracket or something like that. Maybe he ended sixth. I don't know if he pushed at the end. Uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, and they're asking me to upgrade another super van. There we go. Here we go. Another hexagon. I think we've already... This is the third... No, this is the fourth one that we might actually be redeeming. Um, I, I feel pretty confident that we have another carbon fiber on our hands here to, to redeem. Skip match, yes. 1754 to zero, carbon fiber fragment, there you go. And yeah, we do. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, we got eight, two. Wow, okay, I'll take that. Let's bring in the Superman. Ooh, is that the top sixer? Yeah, it is a top sixer. Okay, so it's a, it's a, front, pra a front, front page car. 
Uh, nice. Okay, so one, I'll put you on the drag. Okay, we'll, we'll put you where you want to go. Um, Ocean Highway and Carding Circuit. Just because you're the new car. I'm not open the Koenig Sec there anytime. Carding Circuit, boom. 365, just like the amount of days in the year. Unless it's a leap year. This year was a leap year, so it's 366, I'm pretty sure. Carbon Fiber, number three of the video, I guess. Let's go. Uh, Lamborghini, uh, TVR Tasman, Jaguar E-Type, uh, Mercury Messenger, and... Mazda RX-7 Type RS. Okay, cool. Anyway, let's move on to the next clip. All right, we're back. Uh, take a notice, guys, of the face cam and my hair. Because in the previous clip, I was recording that, like, you know, first thing of the day. I haven't had my morning shower yet. Dude, my hair was so puffy. It was like an Asian afro. But anyway, now, you know, we're, we're in normal category. You know, I've, I've taken my morning shower. We're going to jump right into it. Yes, I'm recording on two separate days because, well, events are ending again here we go again two wheel drive grand tour wow uh yeah i mean this kind of th this, this took me off guard i thought you know with the two upgraded 765s um this would be an easy tier one or at least a tier two nah man people came in with the heat i mean a lot of people have really good two wheel also that would have been a great pack the front wheel drive rear wheel drive whatever Ooh, that's nice an ultra rare uh, front wheel drive, rear drive, EGT pack. The only reason why I didn't really promote it was because, like, it's a little bit too late, you know? Most, I mean, clearly, most people have at least one or two good, you know, two-wheel drive, as they call it, um, EGT cars already. I mean, if they released that pack really early on in the update, where it just, you know, annihilated, you know, getting any Audi, um, that, that would have been a great pack to open early on. But now, you know, after the update, it's pretty old, it just doesn't it doesn't hit the same anymore you know i actually don't know how old egt is i forget what my oldest egt car is so i can't really gauge um but let's see if we can get into the carbon we got a carbon two days ago when i recorded the super bad thing i don't know if we, we got did we, did we get 70 flags because i know i only need one hexagon um if we got 70 flags then yeah we, we'll be able to actually get it uh but the question is did we get 70 70 points i'm, I'm not sure oh, 58 uh, oh, it's all been 70 that we needed. Oh, never mind. We needed 140 uh, because we needed to get the uh, the 20k and then the carbon fiber fragment. Okay, yeah. Uh, we ain't getting that. I mean, what can we get? What can we redeem with 50 flags? We can redeem a ceramic pack, maybe? Should we go for a ceramic? Yeah, let's go for a ceramic. Why not? We're, we're at that stage now where I don't need to bother about the titanium pack, okay? We, we don't need those epic hexagon packs. I don't, I don't ever get anything good out of that. Um, and I, I have enough epic projects to work on anyway. I'll, I'll show you my newest one. It's from Gunter's collection, which I can't even filter for you guys yet because I am running on an old build uh, of top drives. I'm running on 24.0 um, over 24.1. Uh, so if I were to walk into my, what is it, uh, collections and tags, as you can see, Gunter's collection is not there. Um, the planning this time, a little bit strange, huh? We've got the Gunter's collection challenge, but we don't have the Gunter's or Gunter's uh, collection tag yet. Um, unless you are already in the newest release of the game, which is only out for 50% of Android players by the time at the time of recording this, um, as well as challenge. There's no Gunter's Collection challenge yet. We don't know what the Gunter's Collection prize cars are yet. Are they going to be good? Are they going to be bad? Um, we also have a prize car situation that I do want to talk about. Uh, if, if they keep releasing, you know, non-Lamborghini prize cars, because, you know, obviously they won't do that right now because Lamborghini is so new, um, and they don't bring in any new updates, we might find ourselves in a situation where all of the Lamborghinis uh, are going to be the, the, or the Lamborghinis are going to be the only prize cars left. One thing which I found very odd um, about the Lamborghini update was that it was almost like a prize car update. Um, all of the Lamborghini high-end, I mean, the amount of prize cars that that update brought was a little bit ridiculous. And I think, you know, I, I don't have the calculations here, but if you looked at every single unreleased prize car, I'm pretty sure at least 30% are Lamborghinis at this point. Um, let's go into all cars, uh, no, manufacturers. Let's go into Lamborghini, because obviously if you go into manufacturer, you get to see that some of these cars have these prize car uh, little tags in the top right corner. If you, if you look at Chevrolet, it's still like relatively nicely spaced out. They're only like, you know, what, five cars here. Everything else is still a non-prize, which is pretty cool. Um, if you go into Dodge, a, a little less nice because I don't like it when, you know, when you go into a manufacturer and everything you see is a prize. I, I want every brand to have at least one or two 
high-end packable cars, and, and Dodge doesn't have that. Best thing you can get is Hollywood 84. Everything else is, is under a prize board. So what's a, what's a good brand that encapsulates um, what I just said? Maybe Mercedes? Mercedes, yeah, there are a couple in the middle here that you can unpack, and then it's surrounded by just four prize cars. But then again, the sample size of Mercedes is not that big. How about Peugeot? Peugeot has a lot of prize cars, actually. No, Peugeot has a lot of prize Maybe Porsche. Okay, Porsche has a lot of prize cars, but as you can see, they are, they are it's, it's, it's pretty spaced out. Like, you, you can unpack the 911 GT2 RS, uh, the 935, 962, uh, 911 Turbo, 911s. You can actually unpack all these cars in this bottom row here. Um, so it's not really, you know, covered by, you know, price cars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's see Lamborghini. Uh, I, I feel like Lamborghini is just going to be price cars all the way. Let me click that. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, it's one more than Porsche. 10, 11, 12, actually, because all these three are prize cars as well. These two are prize cars as well. These two are prize cars as well. Yeah, Lamborghini has a lot of prize cars, man. Um, and um, none of them have been awarded. Uh, how many came out in this update even, uh, in this most recent update? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like at least 30% of all unawarded high tier prize cars now are just Lamborghini. Maybe even more than that. So, let's go Legend, let's go Collections and Tags, let's go Prize, and let's go European Grand Tour Manufacturer Lamborghini. I want to say at least 20, 12, okay, 12, okay, uh, not that many, but but still, it's it's a lot though, it is a lot, and all of it, all of which are in the high end as well, um, yeah, that's kind of insane, it's honestly kind of insane, um, and, and the Reventon isn't the price car in any of these, which is crazy, I, I don't understand why the Revielto is, is a price car, or, or the, the Temerario, I'm not a Lamborghini expert, uh, but if I remember correctly, these cars are going to be like the next gen Huracans, right? And like, maybe the next gen Aventadors, and, and if, if that is the case, if they're not one of specials, then why are they price cars? I get the Kuntash, I get the STO, um, and I get things like this, because I've, I've never heard of this, actually. Um, if, if it's one off, yeah, it makes sense, but like, if this is going to be a mass-produced Lamborghini, you know, mass-produced in like, Huracan terms, why is it a price car? <laughs> I don't get that. Even, even the freaking Huracan Performante is not a prize car, right? Well, actually, it is. It, it, it is a prize car. Uh, but, you know, the Spider. The Spider isn't. But, yeah, yeah, this, this is a prize car. Never mind. I stand corrected. Um, but then again, at least they're Huracans that you can unpack and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I don't know Lamborghini that well, but I just know that, you know, they're, they've got a little bit too many prize cars, I feel. Um, anyway, Gunter's Collection. So, we're, we're in Gunter's Collection now. And the only way that if you don't have the new update, the only way that you can browse through the cars here is if you go into this event. If you click play, you click Gunter's collection, then you get to see everything that you, that you get over here. And I gotta say, I am excited um, for the packs that you can probably get um, or, or the packs that you can unpack because there are some pretty nice cars here uh, for the high end. Um, when it comes to the legendaries, there really isn't anything that I do not want to unpack. I will take anything here. Um, they're either rear wheel drive or four wheel drive and useful. Um, so that's, that's really good. Um, Epics are looking really nice as well. I mean, I wouldn't care much for a Fiat. You know, that's the only Epic that I think I wouldn't want to unpack. So I feel like I'm going to be getting that one. Uh, but I don't mind unpacking anything else, honestly. Uh, Ford Escort, I've been chasing that for quite some time. Odds of getting one here is going to be pretty low. 924, wouldn't mind that as well. I actually wouldn't want an HSR because I think I have two. Uh, unless I fused one away. I, I like the Sport Quattro, so I don't mind if I unpack that. XJSTWR, a car that I've never unpacked since Great Exhibition. Wouldn't mind getting that either. Ultra Rares, I mean, Ultra Rares, whatever. I, I, I have almost all of them already. Let's let's look at my collection real quick. Uh, my cars. Okay, so I have one. So I fused, yeah, I fused the other one. I fused the other one away. Okay, fair enough. Um, so I currently have a fully upgraded Mazda 254, which I upgraded for this tag. Um, because I, I knew from other time travelers that this car is going to be in the tag, so I, I fully upgraded it already. I've, I've had it for quite some time, and I'm really happy to finally, you know, pull the trigger on this. I've almost had it for a year, uh, so I'm really happy to finally upgrade this because this thing is amazing. Um, I've got the Proxima that has, like, one fuse in it, so that's a good start. Um, yeah, the only other cars is the Mitsubishi and the Dodge M4S. I'll max if I need it, you know, maybe now is the time for the M4S to shine. Uh, because I've had this thing for such a long freaking time, 1,075 days, and it has the same amount of races as my Mazda 254. Ain't that crazy? Um, oh, there's a lot of low end. I, I gotta say for Gunter's collection, right? Uh, one thing they did right was that the distribution of cars, I don't know, it seems healthy. 
you know, like there's a, a large variety for the, the lower ranks and there's a smaller variety for the higher ranks. Um, well, is, it, is, is that a good way of saying that this is a, a, a good distribution? Because if all the epics were bad, I would just say it sucks, honestly. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that the pool of epic cards and legendary cards are more good than bad. Um, so expect a positive carbon fiber review. Uh, and there's, you know, a lot of collectible stuff at the bottom here as well. I, I wonder though, do any of these cars get any changes in RQ? Surely not, right? They probably planned it in a way where none of these cars are changing in RQ. Um, because that would be a little bit messy. I, I don't think, maybe, maybe they might move, they might move in RQ, but they wouldn't move in rarity. Yeah, I think they'll move in RQ, some of these cards, but they won't move in rarity when it comes to uh, update 24.1, which I still do not have. Uh, I'm scared of the commons. How many commons do I have? Because usually commons is where I get stuck. Actually, you know what? Compared to, uh, what's the last one with Nicholas collection? This one actually looks pretty healthy. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because I, I collect American cars and I, and, I, and, I, and I love vintage cars as well. So that doesn't actually look all that bad. Okay, fair enough. Well, Gunz's collection coming up next. We, we do not know uh, what the prize cards are. We don't know any information about this event. It's just that, you know, we, we, we've got the, uh, the multiplayer challenges a little bit early. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to stay safe, wash your hands, and blossom out. Peace. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Sit back, relax in my body